create some light rays or some Jesus rays. So I am going to use my uh, lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and I'm just going to start my Jesus rays coming in from the bright spots of the clouds up here. I know they're all blown out, but you know what? I shot it as a snapshot as I was going by after priority. I just wanted to get the image. So I'm going to hold the shift key down just so that um, after I do each selection, um, it adds to it. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to go right down here. And I always like to go wider on the bottom, smaller on at the top. All right. Hold my shift key down just so I can add to it. Actually, you don't even have to sh hold your shift key down. Perfect. Look at that. Let's do it. Let's just do a couple of these. Just like that. And you know what? We'll just go one more for good measure. And select there. Now you notice over here, it looks like uh, some rays come down here. That's actual rain. It was actually raining over there, and it was raining behind the boat. So these Jesus rays are just going to complement them. All right, so now that I have that, I am simply just going to press Control-J just to put them on its own layer. Actually, you know what? Let's feather them just a bit. Um, select feather. Now, I should mention that I have this image sized down to about 16 inches at 72 dpi just so that the processes in Photoshop go fa faster. So I'm going to go select feather and I'm going to feather this about 2 pixels. There we go. And I'm going to press Control J just to put those on its own layer. As you can see, just like that. Perfect. Now, pressing Control on that layer again, I make the selection again. I am simply going to paint this all in white. 100% white. Just like that. There we go. Now, now I can simply just play with the opacity to bring it down some. And I'm just going to bring it down half opacity for now. And using your eraser tool again, now I just want to erase very slowly just to blend it into the water just a bit. Where it's going to hit the boat. Big brush is nice. Now I'm going to zoom in on the mass, and I'm actually going to go 100% in the eraser function here. And I'm just going to just go up and down the mass here. Because you basically kind of have to know where that light's going to stream through the sails and stuff like that. So I'm gonna actually just going to go around and erase parts of it away on the boat. Like I know it's not going to actually be on the mountain back here. So I'm going to leave a little bit. Perfect, just like that. Now I know that kind of looks, it still looks, you know, it looks fake right now, but that's okay. We're getting to it. Hold on. Now what we want to do is we're just going to give it a little bit more blur. Blur. Gaussian blur to be exact. See that's just way too much. But as we feather down a bit we can get a little bit more detail in there. Like that. And again, this is all personal preference. I'm back on the eraser tool. I can just erase away parts that I want. Perfect, just like that. All right. Let's just blend that in just a bit. Perfect. Again, personal preference. All right. Now, I'm not going to fiddle around with this too long because it is a tutorial. So let's just assume, hey, you know what? That's that's great. That's that's how I want it. Now, I'm just going to duplicate the lo uh, bottom layer just so I have an original the bottom layer. And I'm going to actually merge the top two layers. So I'm just going to click the top layer, press Control e to merge it with the bottom layer. And now I have a whole image as one. Now, again, just because I want more impact, I'm going to duplicate the layer again. I'm going to do that whole multiply technique again. And we're just going to play around with the opacity there, just like that. And I'm going to take the top layer. Basically, I'm just doing exactly what I did the first time I did this. I'm just going to race back up here. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the dark up there. Right here, I'm going to race. 
All right. And my mouse died. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. So you know what? I'm just going to flatten the whole stinking thing. So layer, flatten, image. Perfect. Now, let's add a pinstripe to this. So I'm just going to take a, a blue from the actual image. Alt-I-S just to bring up the canvas size. Let's go 0 .03. 0 .03 just to get that blue pinstripe. Alt IS again. And let's just go, uh, let's just see what five inches on this image does. Ah, perfect. Yeah, that's good. But you know what? That blue's not showing up. So let's go back and give it a 0 0.2, 0 0.2 pinstripe. There we go. And we'll go five and five. For All right, now, you know what? Just because I am being picky. Let's go point one, sorry. Point zero one, no, sorry. Point one. There. I'm not a big fan of big th thick pinstripes. There we go. Now it shows up. And let's put a title in. So using the same color as my pinstripe, I'm just going to come over here. Let's just type in C Cloud. And we'll go uh, 2008, center it. And let's get this nice and big so people can see it. And let's just find something that uh, that is seaworthy. You know what? Let's see if we can find a nice script or something. There we go. We'll use that. And using the paragraph I can bring in bring in the space increase the size there we go perfect so we'll get there beautiful that's about it you know, I got just added a little bit more uh, dramatic image to the image that I already had. So I'm going from there. Let me see if I still have one in here. From that to that. Hope this helps. Again, very simple, right? Really. It's no BS. Try to keep it simple. If you don't know how to do this, maybe you should get on the inside and check everything out. Thanks.